The question was, I'm 40 and obese, can I do a tummy tuck? Age is not the criteria to decide if you want to do a tummy tuck. You can do a tummy tuck at any age, as long as you have completed your family and not planning to have future pregnancies. Well, if you have a BMI of more than 32 to 33, then I suggest you get on a lifestyle diet and exercise loose as much weight as possible and when you feel you have reached a plateau and you're still facing a discomfort with excess skin and fat in the lower part of the belly, uh, then uh, a tummy tuck can be done. Extremely obese, you know, the results will be very not so good. Uh, if you are as thin as possible, there's lesser amount of skin and fat to take off and we can contour the abdomen much better. But definitely, we can do a consultation and see your body composition, see your height, weight, uh, see if you have any hernia in the abdomen or in the umbilicus region, any midline muscle separation, uh, gauge your body structure and then decide if you fit to do a tummy tuck or not. The average waist size reduced after doing a tummy tuck. See, it's not about just reducing everything. Each person or each patient may get a different reduction in the waist size. Now, if someone is about just 60 to 65 kgs or 70 kgs and I do a tummy tuck, there is lesser amount of fat to take off. So when I do the liposuction of the waistline, I can take off more amount of fat and give them a much slimmer waistline. Also depends about their skin tone, muscle tone and their muscle bulk. The better the skin tone, the less, better the skin elasticity. The contouring is better and you get a narrower waist. But someone who's on the obese side, higher BMI, will get a waistline. But a couple of inches, it may not be a drastically slim waist. So your weight matters a lot. Your body structure matters a lot. And yes, you'll definitely see on an average anything from four to six, four to five inches of a waist uh, size reduction. But every patient is different and results are different in everyone. I had a question, can you do a 250 kg deadlift after tummy tuck? Definitely you can. I have had a lot of patients who have done a tummy tuck before. The reason they came to me is they were suffering from a separation in the midline abdomen muscles called the rectus diastasis. And uh, we have repaired the muscle, following which they have started exercising, strength training, weight training. And uh, over a period of about five to six months, they are lifting as much weights as possible. Uh, in the short term, post-surgery, you cannot lift heavy weights for about about four to six weeks but post that we tell you to start gradually increasing your strength training and I think by about two to three months you can go high intensity and lift as much weight it is even better because the results of the surgery will improve the muscles that we have prepared will get more toned and more toned the muscles the better the results will be in about six to twelve months how much do you have to rest after tummy tuck surgery? I make sure most of my patients are walking on the same day of surgery. Yes, the first 48 to 72 hours, there is a little bit of discomfort when you are walking because the abdomen has been stitched extremely tightly. You may feel a little tension on the stitch line. So we tell all the women to walk with a little hunch for the first few days. But the most discomfort is on the first night, but we make sure that we do not advise you much of bed rest. The more you are active, the more you're moving, you know, the muscles don't go into spasm and you feel better. So we like the patients going home the next day after the procedure and doing about a little bit of their daily routine at home, not lifting heavy weights, etc. And we advise them after third to fourth day, once we make them wear the pressure garment, to please go for daily walks as much as possible, at least 20 to 30 minutes and try to perform small amounts of regular daily home. Is tummy tuck a life threatening procedure? No, it is not. Well, it is our responsibility to make sure that our patients are medically fit before the surgery. We do a complete medical evaluation. The patients who are suffering from diabetes, hypertension, other comorbidities, heart diseases, thyroid, we do expect a little bit of slow wound healing. And if there are any side effects, it's usually related to the healing of the wound, small minor wound infections or small minor wounds, which tend to open up. But all of it can be healed by dressings. There's no life threatening surgeries. It is one of the most common procedures performed in India and worldwide. And uh, you know, we do so many tummy ducks every month, and patients are so happy. It is our responsibility. We make sure at Dr. Karishma Aesthetics we have a well equipped operating theater, a very well experienced anesthesia team, and a post surgery, a high intensity unit care and a recovery room to make sure that there are absolutely no problems that you will face. Does tummy tuck surgery leave a scar? Yes, it will leave a scar unfortunately. But most women are not so concerned about the scar because most of them already tend to have a scar 
which is a C-section scar post the pregnancies. So when we plan a tummy tuck, we make sure that the scar is at the level of the C-section scar or maybe a few millimeter below the scar. And the only reason we extend the scar to the sides or the mark is because the woman has a lot of extra skin on the sides. And if we only remove the skin in the central portion, you know, there will be bags of skin hanging on the side. When we design the scar, we make sure we do pre-procedure markings and the uh, final scar is kept within the undergarment or the panty line. So we tell the woman wear the kind of undergarment that you wear on a daily basis and we try our best that we keep the scar within the panty line. It does fade over many years. You have to make sure you take care of your scar, uh, put the scar creams as advised, silicone gel tapes and massaging the scar is extremely crucial. Following the scar protocol helps you reduce the intensity of the scar and just like a C-section scar over a period of four years tends to lighten but a faint line, a fine line tends to remain. Is tummy tuck liposuction possible after uh, a pregnancy? Well, liposuction can be done at any age. It can be done in unmarried people or married people and it can be repeated. So liposuction can be done. But tummy tuck is a one-time permanent uh, makeover procedure and we are removing extra skin and fat and giving you a long scar. So it's not advisable that you do it if you are planning a future pregnancy. Complete your family, complete your breastfeeding and then go ahead uh, and do a tummy tuck surgery. When we perform a tummy tuck surgery, we make sure that all the stitches are dissolvable stitches and they are within the skin so you do not see the stitches outside the skin. They take about two to three weeks to heal and there is a tiny stitch at the corner of the scar which we take off at about two weeks. All of the stitches are inside, they gradually dissolve over a few months and you never see it outside. There is a very fine line which remains. Now this line can sometimes become thick. It can get pigmented, no doubt, especially in Indian skin, you know, the scars can tend to pigment and become thick. We make sure we tell you to follow the scar protocol, use the topical creams, massage the scars, use a silicone gel sheet. And I think those of our patients who really follow the scar protocol up to one year, we see a very good improvement in their scars and they become extremely fine in a few years. Now, when we talk about pain, is the surgery painful and how many days you cannot work out is the question. Uh, any surgery is going to be painful and here we are doing 360 degrees around your abdomen, removing so much of skin, uh, giving you a long scar and so many stitches. So yes, pain and discomfort is expected the first few days. We provide you with pain medications to give you relief of symptoms. I would not say you will be 100% pain free in the first 48 to 72 hours. We tell you to withstand a little bit of pain and discomfort but we will make you walk, we will make you be as active as possible and we will cover you with pain medications. Ice packs really help for the pain but every day the pain gets better and does not increase. Over a period of 5 to 7 days everyone feels a little bit of relief. Uh, we tell them 7 to 10 days you can get back to your office. And you can do your all home routine within four to five days. Once we have removed the drains and we make you wear the corset, we advise you only daily 20 to 30 minute walks in the first few weeks. After third to fourth week, we tell you to increase the intensity of your walks. Maybe after four weeks, a, a light jogging, a light cycling, maybe elliptical, and uh, six to eight weeks only to do high intensity weight lifting and strength training because. Most of the times we are repairing the muscles. The muscles takes about six to eight weeks to heal. So we don't want to put any load on it for the first six weeks. But after six to eight weeks, you can go ahead and do all your workouts. Still then, stick to walking, light jogging and mild cardio exercises. A tummy tuck surgery is always performed under general anesthesia. It is a three to five hour surgery depending on how uh, big the patient is, how much of skin and fat to be removed, whether the muscle has to be repaired or not. But in general, it takes three to five hours. Doing it under spinal anesthesia can have more complications. The person is paralyzed below in the lower limbs and finds difficulty to be active and start walking. So we prefer general anesthesia. The patient is comfortable. You're sleeping throughout the process. Even the surgeon, that's me, is more comfortable doing the process um, at ease and with confidence. And so once the procedure is done, you wake up after anesthesia and you will be alert within 20 to 30 minutes.